Thank you for joining us today. Today we are going to show you how to make spoon catapults at home. So let's just go ahead and get started. Now for this project, you only need a few things. That's a spoon, some rubber bands, about five or six, seven popsicle sticks, and some marshmallows or an object to throw that is not hard. So the first thing that we're gonna to need to do is grab five popsicle sticks and stack them on top of each other. So get five popsicle sticks, four, five, now we need to fasten them together. Yep, and so in order to do that, we're gonna use two rubber bands, one on each end. Take a rubber band, loop it on one end. You wanna twist, and then come around the stack with the open end. It doesn't have to be pretty or neat, you just want it to hold. And you keep doing this, holding the stack steady, and looping the rubber band until it's firm, like so. Now we're gonna do this other end. We're gonna do the same thing. Rubber band, twist, however you can do it. Just keep doing it until it's tight. And so what you want it to look like in the end is that. Okay, so now this is our main part of the catapult. This is our frame. The next thing we need to do is make the crossbar through an arm. So we're going to take two sticks and do the same thing that we did before. And that's loop the rubber band around one end. However you're going to do it. It may be a little tricky. Just take the popsicle sticks and grab the rubber band and twist. And keep doing it until it's tight. You don't want the rubber band loose. You want it to be firmly seated on one end just like that. It's going to look like this. So we're going to take two pieces over the five and then we're gonna try to hold them together now look what happens when I let go it wants to fall apart that's okay it's gonna happen find a way to hold it in place because you're gonna have to put the rubber band over all of these together to fully assemble it so we're gonna take a rubber band and you have to hold these the whole time because they do want to slide apart from each other you want to get this main frame all the way down close to this rubber band end as possible. So I'm going to just do this however I can. As you can see, there is no magic to this. You figure out what's work, going to work best for you and your hands, but you want to make sure that these two are connected. And as you can see, they have a little bit of wiggle to them, but that's okay. I have them firmly together. And you do want these things to be as close centered as possible. So the next thing, we're gonna call this our throwing arm. This is the launcher to where you put your object, in this case, the marshmallow, to throw it. And we are gonna have to secure this spoon onto this arm here first. Now there is no trick to this. There is no magic way. You just have to get this rubber band sealed here as possible around the spoon. Now you wanna make sure it doesn't come apart on you so you can slide it down. And it doesn't have to be super tight as long as you can get this rubber band on this spoon. We also are gonna to have to secure it here on the bottom or we'll do this when you go try to use the catapult. So let's put another rubber band here. And again, you can do this any way which works best for you as long as you can get this rubber band around the bottom of the spoon and the frame as tight as you can get it. However, you can do that. Now be careful, don't pop your fingers, because rubber bands, if you pull them, they can pop. These are a little bit bigger rubber bands. The smaller they are, the easier they are to break, but the bigger they are, the harder they are to get some tension around them. And see, I don't have a whole lot of this rubber band on there, so the good thing is you can work with it, and that's pretty much it for that, as you can see. So now what we're gonna do is place our object in the catapult. Look, make sure you put one hand over here on the front to hold, and you can pull back and let go. Pull back, let go. <laughs> Hold it here. Hold it right here. Hold it tight there. Now pull back here and let go. Pull the spoon and let go of the spoon. Now, what's really important is don't aim this at anyone. I know it's just a marshmallow, but you don't want to hit someone in the eye. But what's really cool about this is this is kinetic energy. When you let go, this is... This is kinetic energy. That's energy of an object in motion. That's what 
what's really cool about catapults. And for the most part, we're done. Now, if you would like to know, learn more about catapults and the history, and even if you want to 3D print your own, please follow this video for more. Thank you for watching this video. Do the silliest face you can make. Ready? One, two, three. I love